and welcome to another The Kettish Group Market Update. I'm Pam Kettish. And I'm Suzanne Starkey. Yes. Okay, Suzanne, so we have a lot of the July numbers. Yes. Um, I know I have ran a ton of these numbers. I've looked at them, you know, front ways, backwards, sideways, yeah. all of that. You're in the field every day, running mm -hmm. around, looking at these houses. Yeah. How do you feel, without looking at any of the numbers and stats, how do you feel that things are going right now? Uh, July was a busy month. I yeah. mean, things were moving. I was out quite a bit with buyers, talking to several sellers. So I know um, definitely not as crazy as back in the springtime, but we're still busy and looking forward to a good fall. So I'll be excited to hear about these numbers. I think they're going to be positive. Good. Good deal. Okay. So um, interesting take that you just said. It's definitely still busy, but not as crazy as the spring. So here's what we've got here. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to compare July 2020 numbers to July 2021. Um, in closed units, this is for our Kansas City Regional Association of Realtors Board. Mm -hmm. um, so in July 2020, we had 4,816 closed units. In 21, we had 4,354. So a little bit and less. A little bit less. A different, uh, yeah, a little bit of a difference. A little, 462 less. Mm -hmm. All right. Average sales price. This is very interesting. Mm -hmm. $282,452 was our average sales price in 2020. In July of 21, it was $311,945. Dang. That is, that is, <laughs> that is an increase of 10%. So when you look at it and you're not supposed to increase in value 10%, no. that was That's um, huge. a huge amount. So yeah. if you were waiting till next year to buy, <laughs> I would stop waiting. <laughs> Keep moving. <laughs> All right. Um, days on market. Uh, we were at 42 last year, and this year we experienced 18, which we can definitely attest to. I mean, there were there were a lot of times that we had a house on the market and it was off the market you know, within a day or so. Absolutely. And mind you, that's typically when it goes to a pending status. So they may have multiple offers on day one, mm -hmm. but they may not actually accept the contract for day two or so. And right. unfortunately, the it would be counted as two days on, at that time. Right. So. Yeah. Um, but a few other things I wanted to get into our inventory and our supply. This is specifically what you were saying. It was busy, but not as crazy as right. the spring. Absolutely. So our inventory in July, 2020, we had 6,061 homes. You know, it was one of those situations we were still in. We had to get out in a hurry, but it was like, oh, let's plan on going out tomorrow or Wednesday for, mm, to see yeah, a house no. in 21. We were like, we can meet you in an hour. Yes. When can you know? When can you be you there? Go. So, um, it it was definitely a little bit. We had less inventory this year, but our supply. What I really want to pay attention to is our supply in June of 2021. So I'm talking 21 to 20. Uh, July, June to 21 to July 21. June of 21, we had 0.9 months supply of okay. inventory. Okay. So that means in less than a month, everything in Kansas City would be sold if nothing new came on. Correct. Is what we're saying. Okay. In July of 21, right. we had 1.1 months. Okay. So we are seeing that slight uptick in inventory, which is what we've been needing. We've been wanting Absolutely. this all year long. So that's not a problem by any means. No. But that's definitely something. And we, we were talking. We had a lot of conversation with buyers. Absolutely. You know, that it, this is not going to stick around even until the end of the year. And we're already seeing it change a little bit. And quite frankly, it's better for sellers, too, because a lot of times we have our sellers that have to buy that need to sell, which obviously they're benefiting from, but need to turn around and buy. And that's been the challenge for them is it they're afraid been. to put their house on the market. Right. And now we're seeing numbers that supports them that they don't have to be afraid of that anymore. Right. And we, we've had a lot of conversations, you know, with people in, on an individual basis of how we get around that and such. Absolutely. But, um, yeah, there's a lot forecasted in the market. I'm excited to I'm see excited what fall too. is bringing. Uh, we think it's going to be an excellent year. Of course, it, you know, real estate, it's always individualized. Call us. We can give you, you know, hey, this is what's happening in your area, your neighborhood, your home. Um, so definitely an individualized sport, if you will. Absolutely. But a great market. And we look forward to bringing you numbers next month. Absolutely. Thank you. Bye.